Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing this day? Hope you're all doing well. It is uh, Monday, the 18th of April, 2022. And it is cold outside still for this time of year. But we're supposed to get up to plus two this afternoon. Uh, it's clear outside. It's uh, bright and sunny, but it's just not warming up. So, so how's everybody doing today and how was your Easter weekend? I hope it was all good. Um, it was for me. I enjoyed my, um, this, uh, yesterday especially. And, um, is, if, <laughs> ah, gosh, Ah, mouth doesn't want to work right. <laughs> um, I was going to say there that um, I've had a lot of fine comments about uh, the picture that I post, or the two pictures I posted yesterday that I took at our church here next door. And uh, Father Paul had uh, blessed and... Um, um, accepted the uh, the picture into the church. So I was very happy about that. Very happy. Now, when I stitch... Oh, gosh. Oh, first of all, here. <laughs> Let me get this right. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. Okay, I'm working on Autumn Lady... I am continuing to work down here on the metallic. So it's right down here. Um, so it's it's coming along. It's just, oh, I'll be so happy to be finished it. I will tell you that. Oh, come on. This is just, this is going to be a pain here right off. Um... Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so uh, Father Paul there, he um, he blessed that picture, and it is now in at the church, and uh, it's going to stay there, and uh, it's just like the church needed something, and I, I have one other picture here, well, it's of um, the Lord's Prayer that I did, but I'm not ready to... Let go of that one just yet. I might in the future, but not yet. Well, I will in the future. It's just a matter of when. Okay. So, oh my gosh. This is just being a pain today. Oh, goodness gracious. So, did um, many of you have company for Easter? Um, I didn't, but I never do, so that's okay. I just spent the afternoon there, and I stitched, and I chatted with friends, and, and that, so, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, we are up to 347. I only need three more, three more, before I get up to 350. And then you know what will happen. Yes. So we'll see what happens. Now, the couple of new people who joined yesterday, I don't know who they are. Sometimes it shows up on my um, Gmail. And other times, like most times, it doesn't. So I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. And, um, so, um, maybe you can just drop a little blurb down below and, and, uh, let us know who you are and, and that, oh gosh, this is just being a pain today. I'm telling you, it's just not, it just does not want to. It does not want to 
there. There. So, but, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're up to 347. And that's wonderful. Oh, that's just absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm going to eventually have a review come in uh, or items to review from a company. Never heard of them before. But anyway, um, these are going to be paint by numbers. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to like them. And I know quite a few of you have said there that the paint by numbers that are out now are much different than the ones that we had as children. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I thought, what the heck, I might as well try it. I'm open to it. So, um, and I didn't get anything too complicated. So, because I don't know how steady my hand is. But we'll see. We shall see. Um, so, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of some of the, the comments I received yesterday. Um, Jeannie, I can't remember what you said. And one, um, what was that, 1981 pheasant. You know, you said some nice things. <clears throat> Amy, you said some nice things. Um, I mean, you've all said nice things. I, sh I shouldn't, you know, make it seem like it's, it's, um, like you haven't, but I'm just saying, um, Amy got herself some Q-snaps. They're not the real Q-snaps, but they're close. They're a knockoff. And, uh, not sure how they're going to work, Amy. For you, but give it a try and see what it's like. I can't use Q, Q snaps. I can't use hoops. I can't none of that. No, it's too much here with my wrist and um, holding and that. Now I know you can buy frames or whatever they are to hold it, but I'm still not comfortable with that. It's a lot of moving around the big heavy thing and all that, and I don't like that. I don't like that. So. But, yeah. So, hopefully the weather turns here so that it's warmer that we finally get rid of all of our snow and uh, we had a little bit of snow last night or yesterday but not a whole lot still for this time of year it's just no but I've seen from other places too they have a lot of snow they've been having a lot of snow too so I watched Laura this morning she was working on her big flower cross stitch beautiful love that Laura I just love that that is going to be so nice and bright and cheery Yeah, other otherwise there's been not much not much going on. I am watching this show on Netflix. It's called Unbelievable. And it's based on um true story. 
of how these cups are looking for this rapist. And um, just on, on how male cops seem to get to the point where they don't believe the women, you know, and um, it's, it's rather sad that um, just because they're different and they experience things differently and and that. So I would go and check it out. It's really good. I remember watching it when it first came out, but I had forgotten all about it until I started watching again. And then it's just certain people in that it, I recalled it. So it stars uh, Tony Collette. And um, she is, uh, I believe she's an Australian woman. Or maybe she's British. She's one of them, anyways. And how she can speak an American accent is just unbelievable. Like, you have no hint of her, her um, English accent. It's, uh, that takes a lot of work. So. But, yeah, go and check it out. I'm not sure what, I think I'm either on episode six. Or seven. I think it's six. And there's eight all together. So I'll finish it off today. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So there was, I think, Michelle, it was you that showed off your, um, Noel lady, your Christmas lady. And oh my, is it ever looking good. Oh, it's so looking good. I, um, and Jeannie, you're, uh, starting on your winter lady. So, uh, have, are you going to change it or are you going to do it exactly the way that it is? You know, for me, I would change it. For me. Like, when I do mine, I'm going to change it. I'm going to do her in a nice blue. Ice blue and gray and white. Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure about the hood yet, but... I mean, the hood would... Set it off right. So, I don't know. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, this stuff is just horrible, it's just horrible, it's just, it's just terrible, I just not want to, oh my gosh, let's see if I can take this back here a bit. Okay. So, uh, There. Hopefully now I can finish off this and I'll start a new thread. Because this one here is just getting too jumbled up. So, did the Easter Bunny drop off anything at your house? Um, chocolates, candies, flavored coffee, um, pastries, dainties, 
flowers, anything along that line. So, um, yeah, it's always nice. I'm not one. Uh, how many of you don't really like cut flowers? I don't like cut flowers. They're beautiful. I'll, I'll give them that. They're beautiful. But I find it such a waste. Because if I was given, say, uh, say a rhododendron plant or something, right? Bush. I could plant it outside. And then for years and years and years, I'd be able to look at it. Um... Or the same like a lilac bush or, um, you know, anything along that line, right? I, I find um, potted plants a lot nicer, you know. And it's just, like, to me it is if, if you... If you get cut flowers, sure, they're nice for... A week and a half or so and then after that they're dead they're they're that's it they're finished blooming and the only thing you've got to show for it is perhaps some composting <laughs> yeah but um, I, I just prefer cut plants I mean Sorry, potted plants. Yes, potted plants. So let me grab here some more of this thread here. No, oh, oh gosh, where is it? I will be so happy once this project is done, then I what I do is I spend time and I just clean off my workstation. And I get everything sorted out, get it all nice and neat again, and then I can go on to something else. There is one day, or several days, I, I still want to do diamond painting. But I just can't get myself to go and do it. Like it's it's like it's taking time away from from this. And I want to get this finished. So um because I haven't had a finish since last year, I think. I think it was last year. Or it was last summer. I don't know. I don't remember. But I want to get one finished. So I have a few finishes there in my in my finished drawer. Um, but I haven't gone and I'm not getting them framed just yet. So it's uh. Just some stuff I I found that wasn't, you know, that I could just whip through. And, uh, so, okay, so, let's see here. I've got this. Let's hope, get a drink of water. Well, Lily Bell is down here by my feet where she always is. And Jonah is outside. He doesn't like to be in unless he absolutely has to be in. He wants to be outside where it's uh, fresh air and he's on uh, most patrol. So, uh, goes out there and tries to get Whatever it is, mouse, bull, uh, mole, bug, you know, 
He even catches flies in here. <laughs> yeah. He, in the house here, he goes on bug patrol. <laughs> and uh, he's very fascinated by flies. Me, I can't stand flies. Flies are something I just cannot stand. Flying, you know, like horse flies and and um, those kind of things. Can't stand. There's always something about flies that has always bugged me. Flies and mosquitoes, both. There's always something about them that has always irritated me. And, um, yeah, so, oh my gosh, am I in a knot here again? Oh, I am just batting a thousand with this here now again. Oh gosh, okay, let's go back. Let's take this out and I will if all else fails you backtrack <sighs> okay yeah see that's the thing here it likes to get up in knots it just seems to hang on to it and <sighs> if you can avoid using this kind of metallic thread then do so it is such a pain. It looks nice, but it is very much a pain in the rump. So, uh, yeah. so yesterday at church we had quite a few people. Normally we're like four, five of us. But yesterday we had, let me see here, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of us, and then father. So that was a good crowd. That was a good crowd. It's, uh, it was, uh, and then uh, we stood around and chatted for a bit, and I, uh, and uh, Father Paul chatted with the two boys that come. I asked them there yesterday. I said, "What drew them here to the church? Why did why did they start to come to the church?" And they said, because they wanted to learn more about God. I thought, that's good. You found the right place for it. So, yeah. So God must be working in their hearts to, um, for them to, to come, you know. Because that, that's pretty scary for um, teenagers or, you know, like 9, 10, 15-year-olds. That you're walking into a situation that is totally foreign and alien. You don't know anything about it. And yet you keep returning. And, uh, so, um, yeah, so it was, it was good. It was good. I asked the one young lad there if his sister was coming, and he said, no, no, she was bad last week. She didn't behave herself. I said, here? 
And he said, yeah, she was fidgeting and she was moving books around and all that. And none of us remember that happening. And he said, oh, yeah, she's not supposed to come anymore. But And he said, she doesn't believe. And, and I told them after, I said, well, that's exactly why they should be here. Why she should be here. Right. She's the, she's the perfect one. You know? It has to be a personal choice, though. Right? That's, that's, that's the ticket. Right? It's personal choice. So, what have you got all doing on this afternoon? Anything exciting? Anything interesting? What are you planning on working on? Um, are you back at work after the Easter holiday? Here, things are opening up because last of last week's storm. We were all shut down from... Wednesday, basically. Um, and nothing was rolling and there was nothing at the stores and everything. So, I, I've seen various trucks rolling by here. So, they, um, they must be bringing... Um, stuff here to the stores. So, which is good. Which is good. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed stitching along with me today. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up and sharing and um yeah and please comment down below if you like let us know who you are where you're from how you found me what are you stitching you can go also over to the dedicated facebook group stitching in the interlake and there is also uh, my gmail address which is stitching in the interlake all one word at gmail.com okay and yeah so I'd be very interested in seeing what it is that you're working on um, you know are you having any issues problems you got any questions and if I can't answer I'm sure somebody else will answer so um, we're just open apparently there's one guy on here or perhaps two so maybe you can let me know who you are and how long have you been stitching so but anyway okay I'm going to continue working here oh, I'll be so happy when this is done but I only have bait this here to do so it will be nice to to have that done and then I've got some fill-ins to do and then I can start on my beadwork yeah that I'm looking forward to so all right everyone I'll let you go and I guess I will talk to you tomorrow so may you be happy May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bill. Yeah, she's happy. She went outside for a pee earlier. And um, she doesn't bark. She doesn't. You know, she just, all of a sudden, she gets up from her bed and she starts, you know, like she just 
she goes and she sits or she'll look at me and she'll want to go to the door. So then I know she has to go, but she will not tell me she has to go. She hardly ever barks, you know, or whines or, or anything, hardly anything. So anyway, okay, everyone, I guess I will see you tomorrow. God willing. So Toodles, everybody. Bye.